Emergency patient with a tooth fracture. She has bit hard on chicken bone. She loves biting on chicken bones. Do you feel that? Mm. Tooth fracture usually occurs due to traumatic injuries to the teeth and oral structures. The predominant clinical features are sensitivity and pain in the fractured teeth. The tooth fractures involving the pulp may develop periapical lesion, which requires radiological examination. 1. Traumatic injuries OR 2. Biting on hard food 3. Clenching teeth during sleep If the crack has extended into the pulp, the tooth can be treated with a root canal procedure and a crown to protect the crack from spreading. However, if the crack extends below the gum line, it is no longer treatable and the tooth cannot be saved and will need to be extracted. Explain to the patient that the best treatment is extraction and an implant because some fractures occur below the gum line where they're hard to see. Various imaging techniques and instruments may be needed to diagnose the fracture, usually if the fracture line extends deep into the tooth root and bone. There may be no way to save the tooth, making extraction necessary. Trying to remove the hanging part. Now the hanging piece is removed. We will do irrigation and then place a sedative. Patient mentioned that she does not want to remove the whole teeth today. We just removed the broken piece and put some sedative temporary material there. Next steps to be done are CBCT and consult with periodontist. CBCT is used in case of vertical fractures to assess the fracture and to better consult patient in deciding to do the treatment. Medications were prescribed and patient will come back after taking CBCT and for follow-up. Look at the fracture line. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me.